Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is Season 3 of K-Check. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang mga challenges. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Kayla. Kayla is a fine art student from Ateneo de Manila University taking up information design. Her hobbies include writing, reading poetry, and watching really old movies. Contestant number two, aside from hoarding books she doesn't read, being a frustrated writer, drinking an unhealthy amount of coffee, and being a scholar, UP student Jim strives to be an ACTOR, or an artist that is community-oriented, a teacher, an organizer, and a researcher. So the man we have Ril. Ril is an aspiring plant biotechnologist who is chronically online and forever OA. He loves playing Honkai, Star Rail, dancing, and yapping. He also loves to gala and is down to have a fun time. And finally, we have Chito. Chito is a student of UP Diliman. He is in his third year studying anthropology. He is a climate activist and a student leader. And he stands the K-pop group Zero Base One and loves to watch YouTube videos in his free time. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Siyempre, ang ating mga suke. Unang-una na si Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. We also have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. And UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon contestants, it's time for our first round. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Kaya naman, let's begin! This is round one. Question number one, contestants. Standing 21,000 meters, Olympus Mons is the highest mountain in the solar system. On what planet can you find Olympus Mons, Cheeto? Mars. Mars is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. The Spanish Steps is not located in Spain, but in what Italian capital city, Kayla? Rome. Rome is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. How many years are there in 60 months? Chito. It's five years. Five years is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. The cities of Nagoya and Fukuoka are popular tourist destinations in what Asian country? Real. Japan. Japan is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. Which constellation and zodiac sign depicts a sea goat. Real. Capricorn. Capricorn or Capricornus is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number six. In chess, this time, which piece can only move one square in any direction? Jim. Pawn. Sorry, that answer is incorrect. Real. King. The king is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number seven. In medical technology, what does ECG stand for? Real. Electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number eight. What venomous American snake is named for the modified scales that make a sound at the end of its tail? Real. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number nine. In quick math this time, what fraction in lowest terms is equal to the decimal? 0.75. Real. Three fourths. Three fourths is the correct answer. K check. Si Jim gigil nagigilaw kung masadong magalit. Question number ten. In what popular game that uses a 225 square board 
do you start with seven letter tiles on your rack? Cheeto. Scrabble. Scrabble is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number 11. What radiation that humans can neither see nor feel instantly is the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum real? Gamma rays. The answer is incorrect. Let me continue with the question. Is the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum extending from the violet end of the visible light range to the X-ray region? Cheeto. Ultraviolet rays. Ultraviolet is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What type of animal is a border collie? Great Dane, Cheeto. Dog. Great Dane, Maltese, or any other one in the same genus? The correct answer is dog. K-check. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby, for that round. So mag-scores recap muna tayo. Nangunguna si Real with 60 points, followed by Chito with 50 points, si Kayla with 10 points, at si Jim naman pwede pang humabol sa susunod na rounds. Attorney, nandito yes. na tayo sa favorite segment natin sa Ay, show na to. Ay, excited ako palagi so, sa portion na to. Kung saan mas kinikilala natin mga contestants natin, ito ang... Kay Chica! Simulan natin kay Kayla. So, Kayla is taking up information design. So, baka iba ang tawag namin sa course na yan dito sa UP. Okay. Pero ano ba ang sakop ng information design, Kayla? I usually po sinasabi kong graphic design. Medyo niche nga siya pag sabihin mong information design. So, I feel like mas accessible siya when I say that. So, yeah, uh, we do a lot of digital illustrations, typical design classes. Welcome so, to UP. <laughs> parang visual communications ang kanyang equivalent yes, sa, sa dilim. So, maraming salamat, Kayla. Puntahan naman natin si Jim. Paki-explain mo naman sa amin yung sinabi mong gusto mo maging ACTOR or actor, pero merong specific na ibig sabihin yung letters ng word na yun for you. Nawalan nga ng hininga tong si Paring <laughs> Jules kanina. So, paki-explain. Yung uh, acronym, acronym po na yun, framework po siya sa, sa theater group po namin. Um, bale, um, binabali po kasi namin yung concept na kapag nasa teatro ka, ay artist ka lang. I mean, you're, you're focusing on the art, your artistic skills. If you're an artist, if you're a cultural worker, you should be holistic, you should be community-oriented, you should be a teacher, an organizer, and a researcher as well. Mm. Ano naman yung theater group mo? Um, ano po kami? Ang pangalan po namin ay Haraya. At kasama po kami sa Umbrella Org na Alianza po sa Metro Manila. Mm. Nice to know. Okay. Mas holistic na arts, kumbaga. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much kay Kayla at kay Jim. Pero mamaya, kakausapin naman natin si Laril at si Chito. Pero syempre, maghanda muna tayo sa round 2 sa pagbabalik ng... Kay Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check for today. But before we proceed, isang points recap. Real is in the lead with 60 points, followed closely by Chito with 50, Kayla with 10, and Jim with a lot of catching up to do. Yes, so ngayon na Torni, tuloy na natin ang second part ng... Kay Chica! So Real, sabi mo Real, you aspire to be a plant biotechnologist. Pero you are constantly online. Di ba dapat nasa nature ka? So how do you do that? Uh... Yung parang, parang nature po na yung program is parang ano lang po. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Na-fresh po ako bigla. Oh, Pero usually naman po, uh, we usually read mga journals po. And whenever po na ano, when there's time to experiment po, yun na po yung time na makakaano naman po. Ma yun na po yung time makaka-online na po kasi marami pong downtime po yung experiment. So, ayun po. Kaya po napagsasabay po yung dalawa. Okay, ganun sabay. <laughs> so, sabi mo rin na OA ka, hindi ka nonchalant. Exactly. So, exactly. Oh. <laughs> OA nga siya. <laughs> so, bakit ka OA? but mo nasabing OA ka? Pero ko naman po kasi lahat po nang sinasabi ko is uh, ano daw po. Pero sabi ko kasi, sabi po kasi ng friends ko na OA daw po ako. So, OA na lang din daw po ako. At saka hindi daw po nature po nung, no, hindi ko daw po nature yung pagiging nonchalant. So, OA na lang po magiging nature ko na lang. So, embrace oh. mo yung pagiging OA. <laughs> So, pareho pa naman ang ibig sabihin ng OA. Yes. Diba? Same pa rin naman. Same pa rin, uh -huh. oo. So, in any case, Chito is a climate activist. So, 
Of course, hindi na natin kailangan i-emphasize ang kailangan natin, ang pangangailangan sa isang tulad mo. But, can you tell us more about your advocacy and how you go about it? So, I've been a climate activist for three years now. Actually, nagsimula po ako when I was in grade 12 before pa ako pumasok ng UP. Pero mas nagmamanifest siya recently sa init ng panahon, sa dami ng changes, and parang sa, kukul sa kukulangan din ng mga solutions talaga pagdating sa climate crisis. So, are you part of a group? Ah, yes, I am. I'm part of Youth Advocates for Climate Action Philippines. It's a nationwide youth alliance of climate activists. Well, we need more yes. activists, di ba? Yung climate change na yan, I'm sure nararamdaman natin mm -hmm. lahat yan. Pero hindi lang init ng panahon ang ating nararamdaman ngayon, init na rin ng competition dahil it's now time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure to strategize kasi dito sa round na to, answers are worth 20 points each if correct but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Kaya naman... Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. In music, what do you call a form of singing by men using an artificially high voice like Sam Smith? Jim. Falsetto. Let me proceed. Like Sam Smith in I'm Not the Only One, you said falsetto. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Which Philippine president died in an airplane crash? Jim. Ramon Magsaysay. Let me proceed. Airplane crash in March 1957. You said Ramon Magsaysay. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. Who directed the 2018 film Ready Player One as well as blockbuster movies Jaws, Raiders of the Lost Ark? Kayla. Spielberg. Spielberg or Steven Spielberg is correct. He also directed Saving Private Ryan. Okay, check. Question number four. In May 2024, scientist Robert Wen discovered a glitch in the theory of relativity when it comes to vast distances. Who formulated the theory of relativity? Jim. Albert Einstein. Between 1905 and 1915, Albert Einstein is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Displayed at the Louvre Museum, what is the name of the marble sculpture of Aphrodite that has its arms broken off? Kayla. Winged, uh, winged statue of Sacre. That is wrong. Oh, sorry. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Venus de Milo. Question number six. Which mammal from Africa looks like a dog? Hunts in groups and makes a sound similar to a human laugh. Really? Hyena. Hyena is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What faction of the Katipunan was officially led by Baldomero Aguinaldo but had Emilio Aguinaldo as its most famous leader? Chito. The Magdalo faction. The Magdalo faction or Magdalo is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which actor voiced Groot? Chito. Steve Carell. Steve Carell is wrong. Let me proceed. Jim. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Let me proceed. In the Guardians of the Galaxy film series and played Dominic Toretto in the Fast and Furious franchise, Vin Diesel is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Coming from the Greek words for sharp and foolish, what is the literary device that combines two normally contradictory terms like deafening silence? Chito. Oxymoron. Oxymoron is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What common term refers to a small extra floor usually between the ground floor of a building and the second floor? Correct answer is mezzanine. Question number 11. Don't Stop Believing, Separate Ways, Open Arms, and Faithfully are hit songs by which music group? Chito. Journey. Let me proceed. That included vocalists Steve Perry and Arnel Pineda. Journey is correct. Kate check. Last question for this round. Number 12. 
What is the title of the 1990 novel by Michael Crichton that was adapted into a 1993 movie about an amusement park that featured dinosaurs? Kayla. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round two. Maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. Kamustahin naman natin ngayon ang ating mga contestants at ang kanilang mga ranking. So we have Chito in the lead with 100 points, Jim and Real tied with 80 points, and Kayla with 40 points. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalinga na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, isang points recap. We have Chito in the lead with 100 points. Real and Jim in second place with 80 points. And Kayla with 40 points. Pero marami pang points sa paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So hindi pa tayo pwede mag-isip kung sino ba ang mananalo talaga. Tama. Dahil dito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Mm -hmm. Let's go for those points and for the win. So, let's, let's begin. begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. Question number one, Prof. Marian. Okay, which of the following animals do not have species? Endemic to the Philippines. A. Alligator. B. Deer. C. Shark. D. Eagle. Or E. None of the above. Lahat yon meron tayong Philippine deer, Philippine eagle. Wala namang Philippine shark, pero meron tayong butanding and other sharks. Meron tayong Philippine crocodiles, but no alligators. So these are endemic only to the U.S. and China. So the correct answer is A, alligator. Thank you, Prof. Du. Next question. Okay, Philippine history tayo. Kilala nyo ba ang mga Marcos cronies? Yan ang ating katanungan. Who among the Marcos cronies owned the newspaper Philippine Daily Express and the TV channels Radio Philippines Network or RPN9 and the Intercontinental Broadcasting Corporation IBC13? The choices are A. Lucio Tan B. Danding Cuanco C. Roberto Benedicto D. Antonio Florendo Sr. E. Rodolfo Cuenca Okay, medyo hindi natin kilala ang mga cronies. Dapat kilalanin. At the prime of his career, Benedicto's business empire consisted of 85 corporations, 106 sugar farms, 14 haciendas, 17 radio stations, 16 television stations, 2 telecommuni telecommunications network, 7 buildings, 10 vessels, and 5 aircraft. The correct answer is C, Roberto Benedicto. Grabe naman pala. <laughs> Prof. Sophie. Okay, thank you. Um, in literature, the phrase star-crossed lovers refers to two people who are in love with each other but cannot be together for some reason. It was famously coined by William Shakespeare in which play? A. Macbeth B. Hamlet C. King Lear D. Romeo and Juliet Jim. D. Romeo and Juliet Let me finish. E. A Midsummer Night's Dream Yes, D. Romeo and Juliet is correct. Um, and the idea of star-crossed lovers, no, it refers to certain astrological beliefs ba? that the stars or the fates are against us. Okay, check! Thank you. Second set of questions, Prof. Marian. Punta naman tayo sa mathematics, trigonometry. 
what is the cosine of 2 pi or cosine of 360 degrees? Pareho lang yon. A, 0, B, 1, C, negative 1, D, square root of 2 over 2, or E, none of the above? Yeah. 1. Okay, the cosine of 2 pi or cosine 0 will be equal to 1 since it corresponds to the point 1, 0. So, the x coordinate is the cosine which is 1. Okay, check. Wala bang mas mahirap na question dyan, Prof. Marian? Madami pa. Prof. Lou. Okay, world history. The Watergate scandal led to the resignation of which U.S. President? A. Ronald Reagan B. Lyndon B. Johnson C. Richard Nixon Tito. C. Richard Nixon Let me continue the choices. D. Gerald Ford E. Jimmy Carter The Watergate scandal involves the bugging of political opponents' offices, unauthorized investigations, and the misuse of government agencies for political purposes. It happened in the United States from 1972 to 1974, ultimately resulting in Nixon's resignation. The correct answer is C, Richard Nixon. K, check. Thank you. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Um, which of the following is not a method for producing textile fabrics? A, weaving. B, crochet, C, knitting, D, tatting, E, marquetry. Um, all the five choices except for marquetry are ways of producing fabric. Uh, marquetry is actually the art of applying a decorative um, layer, no? like wood or mother of pearl to another surface no? so yeah marquetry thank you so we're done with the first half of questions uh, scores recap muna tayo Tarni. well Chito leads with 130 points Jim and Real follow very closely with 110 points each and Kayla is in well third place with 40 points yes so now um, off to our second half meron mm -hmm. pa tayong 180 80 points, points left Simulan na natin, Prof. Marian. Which is the most abundant protein in the human body? A. Keratin. Real. Keratin. Mali. Let me continue. B. Albumin. C. Collagen. D. Hemoglobin. Jim. C. Collagen. Let me finish. Um, D. Hemoglobin and E. Insulin. So although you'll find this in our body, and you'll find keratin primarily, mada parang ang dami diba in your hair, nails, and skin. But the most abundant protein in humans is collagen, which is a protein found in bone and cartilage and other connective connective tissues. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Okay. Lu. Okay, dahil may Louvre Museum tayo kanina, punta tayo sa Roman mythology. Who is the Roman goddess of reason, wisdom, and war? Real. Athena. Mali, sorry. The choices are A, Diana, B, Venus. Reiko, okay. Kayla. Venus. Uh, sorry, mali. Let me continue. C, Ceres. D. Minerva. Chito. D. Minerva. Let me continue the choices. Letter E. Hera. Athena was one of the 12 chief Olympian deities and the Greek goddess associated with wisdom, craft, and warfare. Her Roman equivalent is Minerva. So the correct answer is D. Minerva. Okay, check. Thank you. So Chito's back in the lead. 160. With 160 points. Prof. Sophie. Um, thank you. Um, in 2023, the single Now and Then was released by a band that broke up in 1970. 
What is the name of the band? A. The Rolling Stones B. The Beatles C. The Eraserheads D. Pearl Jam E. Nirvana Um, only one choice, no? Broke up in the 70s No, and that was the Beatles So as we know, there are only two surviving members Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr But then you don't know the Beatles, no? They were really great no, um, Look it up, no? They restored a demo <laughs> <laughs> They restored a demo posthumously Thank you so much. Oh, sobrang masama ang loob ni Prof. Sophie na hindi nila kilala ang The Beatles. Spotify nyo mamaya yan. No? <laughs> Baka yung now and then lang ang hindi sila familiar. Familiar ba kayo with The Beatles? Yes. Yeah. Yes naman daw, Prof. Sophie. Okay, thank you. Now we're off to the last set of questions. Last, Prof. Marian. Last question from me. Exciting to. Yung medyo mahirap ng konti, Prof. Marian. Cosign level. Alam mo naman, hindi ko naman kaya ng mahirap na question. Okay. Ito, madali lang. Drops of watercolor or food color spreading out in water is an example of which transport process? A. Diffusion. Ray ko, Jim. Diffusion. Let me finish the... Question. Parang naawa naman nung ko sa buzzer mo, Jim. Oo nga, maghunos dili ka. <laughs> B, osmosis. C, active transport. D, exocytosis. Or E, effusion. Both osmosis and diffusion refer to movement of molecules from higher to lower concentration, but osmosis refers only to water molecules passing through a membrane. The correct answer is A, the fuse drum. K check. And now Jim is back in the lead with 170 points. By 10 points only. Yes, and two more questions to go. Tingnan natin. Prof Lu. Okay. From uh, Roman mythology, lipa tayo sa Islamic culture. Okay. Ang tanong, how many chapters does the Quran have? A, 56. B, 79. C, 82. D, 100. E, 114. Asura is an Arabic word meaning chapter. In the Quran, its plural form is suwar. There are 114. Suwar in the Quran. The correct answer is E, 114. Thank you. Okay. Now, Ito na. Last question. Magkakaalaman na. Yes. Pag nakasagot si Chito, pwede siyang man, tama. Nang tama. <laughs> siyang mananalo. No pressure, guys. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Prof. Sophie. Okay, get Nakasalali ready. Nakasalalay sa'yo ang <laughs> ano nila, kapalara. Don't scare me like that. Okay. For a little more French. The painting Impression Sunrise 1872, the source of the Impressionist movement's name was painted by which artist? A. Pierre Auguste Renoir B. Edouard Manet C. Claude Monet D. Paul Cezanne E. Edgar Degas Chito. C. Claude Monet you are correct. Yes. <laughs> so the reason that now you, it became, it, they got called the Impressionists was because of an art critic who said that all your works here, no, they just look like impressions, not like real paintings. Okay, so okay, check, Chito. Nasongkit. <laughs> Nasongkit ni Chito. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Chito, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 190 points. We'll see him again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Oh, talaga namang nakaka-pressure yan. Thank you, of course, with special mention to Jim na nasungkitan ng, uh, <laughs> ng win for the day. But thank you to Jim. 
to Real and Kayla for joining us and of course to the members of our Suking Suki na panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Lou, and Professor Sophia. Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check!